The nation's capital gearing up for the president's State of the Union address tomorrow. Millions across the country will watch that speech. But one Prairie Village mother will be there in attendance. She received a special invitation from Congresswoman Sharice Davids. And new at 6, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains how the woman's journey led to that invitation. There you go, buddy. Is something that's, you know, just every day a part of our life. For the past seven years, Laura Robeson has helped raise her son, Danny, who has both cerebral palsy and epilepsy. Danny, do you want to do your piano? Special care requiring Robeson to carefully plan every day. Last year, he was having seizures every day. Her son's health putting her on the front lines of supporting expanded medical coverage. But possible cuts to the Affordable Care Act and changes to pre-existing condition rules leave her increasingly worried. We would certainly have to make choices about what care he gets and um, you know do we get prescriptions this month or do we do therapy this month her fight getting the attention of Kansas representative Sharice Davids and leading to a special invitation to this year's State of the Union address I was just absolutely thrilled um, obviously it's a tremendous honor with their bags and health gear already packed for Washington DC Laura hopes to hear certain issues in particular when it comes to health care with the State of the Union going to be Danny's first trip to Washington. With the speech getting closer, Robeson hopes President Trump offers relief to families like her own. Not only bolster the health care protections that we have in place now, but moving forward, what are we going to do to improve upon it? A special invitation and experience ahead with Robeson never leaving her son's side. I feel lucky every day that I'm Danny's mom. I wouldn't change anything about Danny for the world. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. And just a reminder, you can watch the President's State of the Union address tomorrow night at 8 right here on your 41 Action News Station. Immediately following the President's speech, we'll also carry the Democratic response.